Good morning. So come on your back in your bed and let your breathing become deeper, breathing more into your belly, into your chest. Expanding your chest toward the ceiling. You can also place your hands here on your tummy and on your chest. Really deepening your breath here while you still lay in bed. And then breathe more toward your arms, hands, fingers, legs, feet and toes, bringing a little bit more movement into your body through your breath. And maybe your feet and your fingers want to move a little, your head wants to roll from side to side very gently, waking up your body with breath and lovely movement. And then if you like, bring your arms behind your head and really give yourself a nice little stretch, yawn, make yourself as tall as you can. As you can see, I push with my heels forward, moving from side to side to give my body a rest, nice little stretch and make myself as tall as I can. So move and see what feels good for you here, giving yourself a nice little stretch, waking up while you're still laying in bed. And then take a moment to arrive here to notice. You can keep your arms for a moment behind your head or just place it on the sides. And then slowly bring your arms back toward the sides of the body and then bring your legs in. And then with an inhale, bring them toward your belly, hug your knees and you can roll a little bit from side to side, stretching your back here. Make yourself as small as you can. Bring your head towards your knees and and with an exhale, bring your body back to your bed and then slowly roll to one side of your bed, resting here, noticing. And then when you're ready, roll up and find a nice little seat on the edge of your bed with your feet touching the ground, or if you're already on your yoga mat, you can sit cross-legged like me. Noticing. And then very slowly with an inhale, bring your arms back, interlace your fingers and really push up your palms toward the ceiling, stretching your body from side to side. Pressing a big ball toward the sky here and then rolling your upper body or circling your upper body here, only your thoracic spine here. Upper arms and ear on one, le on one level and then circling, change directions, waking up your upper spine. Shoulders move toward your hips even if you push towards the ceiling and then you can loosen your hands and then really push, kick with your hands, do whatever feels good, bring them toward the sides of your body and then stretch out your shoulders, move towards your hips, bring it in, inhale and then exhale, push out, make yourself as wide as you can, fingers widely spread. Very good, bring them in. And bring your elbows toward each other and pull them down towards your hip. Hold them for a little and let go. Bring them toward each other, down and let go. Elbows move towards each other. Pull them down towards your hips and let go. Last time, opening your chest. Let go and then rest your hands on your knees. Noticing any sensations in your upper body, shoulder chest, arms, and then by now you can make your way slowly towards your yoga mat. We want to 
come here into a nice little passive back bend. So you would, if you want, would need a block, but I show you also a different um, way of doing it with using um, like a blanket. So come onto your mat here and bring one block between your legs and then move your legs towards each other. And then with that kind of pushing into the block, you roll up the spine from your mat, take your block, you can take the lowest position here, place it under your sacrum and then bring it down. Remove your other block so you can stay here with your legs bent or if it already feels comfortable, just extend them. Notice how it feels like, if it's comfortable, legs extended or bent or do you want to bring your arms up over the head, creating a nice little back bend. So this would be one variation with a lower block position. If you already notice that's too little, you can uh, take the block one position higher. So this is for the very flexible backs here. And I would recommend if you have a sensitive back to start with the first position because this is far more intense. And if you like, show you the other alternative, like rolling off the block, rolling onto your mat, and then rolling onto your side and see if that other way is good for you too. So I like it, it's a bit more comfy and soft. So I have a blanket rolling together with a nice little cushion, making a kind of sausage. So it's more soft and comfy for your back and then come onto your back, place your block between your legs and then creating that push into the block and with an inhale, come up and then bring your blanket roll under your sacrum. You can also use a bolster, but this is also a little bit too much. So like this blanket is like a little bit in between, like the lower version of the block. So you can arrive here with knees bent or just extend your legs if that already feels good. And if that feels good, you can extend your arms, creating a nice little passive back bend. So even if you lay here, you still keep breathing into your belly, filling your body with good, nice oxygen here. You can always adjust the position, moving your legs a little bit outward or pushing with your knees a little forward. Like the chin moves toward your chest to really open up the neck area here. can also place your arms beside your body if that feels more comfortable for your shoulder and neck area. Relax your face, your mouth is slightly open, your eyeballs are relaxed. So you can stay as long as you want in here if that feels comfortable. And if you like, um, you can also have your legs bend if that feels more comfortable for you. So play a little bit around and really go with moment by moment what feels good. And to like make it a little bit more interesting, we will add a new feature in here so you can extend your legs again and then slowly with an inhale you bring your left leg in hugging your knee here no pushing no pulling just letting it sink into your belly area if that's like not enough space in your groin area you can move your Knee a little bit outward, extend your arm, the other arm to the side, see what feels good here. You can place the hand on the opposite hip, let it melt toward your mat here. 
and then slowly change sides, bringing your legs in, right side bending and then extending the left leg. And again, no pushing, no pulling. If there is little space in your groin area, move it a little bit outward. Stretching the back and also the front of your legs. See what feels good for each position. Keep your face relaxed here. Your feet and your toes also. Keep them really, really, really relaxed. Keep breathing into your belly area. And into your stretch. And then slowly bring it down towards your mat. And then again, bring both in both legs, hugging your legs again, and then slowly remove your blanket. So I like to wriggle it away from my body, like slowly rolling my spine onto the mat here until I'm completely arrived on the mat and then hugging my knees again. It adds a nice little stretch here and I can comfortably move, rest my spine here on the mat. And then whenever you're ready, roll to your favorite side, arrive, and then slowly rolling up to one side, removing your blanket, your bolster, and then slowly coming on onto all fours here, placing your toes on your mat, hips, Knees in one line, shoulder, elbow, wrist in one line, and then we do a nice little side bend here. So your hip move to one side, right side, your head loose, moves to the left side. So hip opposite direction than your head. If your hip moves to the right, your head to the left, you can look toward your foot on that side. Very good. If you move your head to the left, look toward the left foot. If you move your head to the right, look toward your right foot. And then we want to keep that opposite movement. So head moves in the opposite direction than your hips. You want to open the side of the body and then sit slowly back to the foot. So if your hip moves to the left, sit back to what's the left heel coming up. Sitting back to the right heel, head moves to the left. So make your way toward one heel here, shifting weight, still opening the sides of the body, head hangs down. I really love that as an extra neck stretch here. Inhale up, exhale, moving, moving to one side with your hips. Very good. Inhale up. And then come to neutral, move your hands a little bit further. So to the beginning of your mat and then sit back with an exhale. So almost like chai pose, keep your feet like that. And then Move forward, hang, hangs down, inhale, exhale, sit back, look towards the beginning of the mat, inhale, head looks toward the belly button, exhale, sit toward your heels, looking forward, inhale, rounding spine, move your weight towards your hand, inhale, sitting back, looking forward, back straight, Rounding back, looking towards your belly button, moving forward. Sitting back, looking forward. Inhale, rounding, looking towards your belly button, moving with your weight towards your hand. Exhale, looking forward, stretching your back. Rounding, moving towards your hand, looking towards your belly button. Exhale, sit back, look forward. Inhale, rounding, move your weight forward to your hands. And then come back into neutral and move your hands back. 
and then cat and cow in exhale rounding spine looking towards your belly button inhale shoulders move towards your hips chest moves forward look forward exhale rounding back and then slowly we want to make some nice little hip circles so start with your circling your hips press with your toes into the mat and then slowly let your head hang down and bring your head a little bit into the play here so while your hips move towards the left head moves towards the right head to the left hips to the right so creating kind of cat and cow movement rounding spine straightening spine and also engaging this little side bend here move stretch do whatever feels good before coming back into the center maybe for another cat and cow here then place your feet onto your mat coming into child's pose if you need extra space move your knees further away from each other and rest here for a moment noticing any sensations enjoying the rebound and then slowly with an inhale come on your fingertips let your head hang down and walk towards the bo your body rolling up your spine bringing your legs a little bit further apart from each other and then inhale raising hand up exhale twist bring your hand down inhale exhale down inhale rising exhale twisting hand down just a little shoulder mo mobilization inhale other hand exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down with a little twist perfect and roll back bring your legs together and then come into a nice seated position so cross-legged if it's too much for you you can sit on the edge of the chair or with your legs open noticing before we gently start to tap our head here really tapping all the areas of our scalp towards the temples middle and then tap down from the head toward your neck and shoulders head neck shoulders and then gently your forehead inside out towards your temples very gently it's very sensitive that area and then come towards your cheekbones your jaw opening your mouth closing your mouth really loosening up that joint there that muscle jaw muscle your chin gently tapping every bit of your face before we nicely touch stroke from the chin towards the chest here a nice little touch for our thyroid and then gently tap your chest area even more gently than before we want to activate here the lymph system the th thymus gland to give ourselves a little bit more energy lung points activating lung heart area and then slowly bring your hands together and really wrap them really 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 tightly creating friction and washing your face head neck again face head neck creating friction one more time washing face head neck and gently slowly bring the hands together towards your heart thanking yourself for a nice little practice and mm, that feels good so enjoy your day and See you next time. Thank you.